here I have some Italian sausage. Um, you can grab the patties. You can have the links if you like the links. Uh, cut them up as thick as you like. You can just get the ground Italian sausage. It all depends on what you like. Okay. So in a pan, I'm going to get some olive oil. And we're going to put that on medium heat. Let that heat up. Oh, it's risotto. Mm. Can't wait to eat it. Cook that. Let that heat up. And basically, I'm just going to take this, sit it in a pan, and I'm going to break it all up with a spoon. Let me wipe my hands off here. And of course, you know, you can use links, you can use sausage, it doesn't really matter. All depends on what you like and your taste. Grab a spoon. I'm going to go ahead and break this up. Now, of course, you can add more or less. Now, I remember growing up, my grandmother, bless her heart, she used to make an incredible prosciutto and mushroom risotto. Oh, incredible. She used to get this uh, Italian sausage with prosciutto in it. You know, I'd love to find that. We used to go down to uh, the Italian section of the city. They sold everything you can think of. You can get anything there. So we'll let that warm up. It's going to take a little while. Of course, as it cooks, I'm going to break it up even more. And in another pan, let me just throw this away. I like to keep a clean working area. This is going to be incredible. So I'm going to take some canned tomatoes that are diced and they're already seasoned. Of course, I'm going to season them a little bit more afterwards, but you don't have to if you don't like to, if you don't want to. Put that in another pan. And we're going to heat these up just to warm them. I'm going to put it on a very low heat. And I also have canned mushrooms, but of course you can use fresh if you like. Um, there are times I use fresh mushrooms as well. Whatever you have in your pantry, doesn't really matter. You know, experiment. You know, don't do the same thing over and over again. I just like to be different. As you can see, that's burning it. Smells. Okay. And if you have leftover sausage or chicken or fish or shrimp, you can put whatever you want in this. I used to try to stay to one protein and a couple vegetables. And this is just warming. And you know what? What I did with the um, canned tomatoes and the mushrooms, of course, I took all the liquid out of it. You don't want to, because the risotto is going to already have enough liquid in it. And so it absorb enough. And if you add more to it, it becomes water, it becomes more soup. So. And also the reason I'm heating this up as well is to remove the rest of the moisture from this as well. Oh, it smells so good. Now 
They really need to invent smell vision <laughs> See how our risotto is doing here. A little bit more. And I don't want this to burn at all, so I'm constantly stirring it. And you can even take the sausage links, the Italian sausage links, and cut them into thick links if you like. You can use spicy. If you like, all depends on your taste. Okay. Brown nicely. Of course, it's a lot easier to chop once it starts to cook. It's not as gummy. I've even like taken the sausage links themselves and pulled the sausage out of the casing and did that as well. So if that's all you have, that's fine too. Okay, let's check out, see how we're doing here. See how there's still a little bit of liquid in there? I want it to absorb a little bit more. Pulling all that and it's just barely, barely on a simmer. As you can see, the steam rising from it. So you want the risotto to absorb all the liquid. And if you have it on too high, a lot of the moisture is going to evaporate. And you don't want that. You want all that goodness in the risotto itself. Nice and chunky. Smells wonderful. I tell you, the best thing you could do is cook with your family. You know, we have so much fun cooking. It's when you bond. And of course, afterwards, after this is all browned and cooked through, the reason I'm using a spoon, a slotted spoon, is so I can drain off all that grease, that liquid, from that. And I guess if you wanted to, you can add a lot of some of that, some of that uh, grease from the sausage to the risotto, if you like, and give a little bit more flavor to it. Wonderful. See, it's still pink inside. So we got a little ways to go. We want to make sure it's cooked thoroughly. Anything that's processed, of course, you want to have it cooked through. Still a little pink. We're going to give it a little more time. We have plenty of time. We're going to go ahead and add some more liquid to the risotto. You see the bottom of the pan. So go ahead and add some more liquid. Of course, remember, you got to keep this liquid hot. Otherwise, the risotto is going to get mushy and you don't want that. Give it a shake. And this is a really, really great dish for company. Uh, you'll get everybody be raving about it. See that Italian sausage is looking nice. Nice big chunks 